zapłacone, a już tu w główkach roztrwonione. Na głupstwa, na bzdurki, na dyrdy małki, na zachcianki. A to nie premiami, ale oszczędnością i pracą ludzie się bogacą. Po jednej dla każdego. Zamiast premii. W pracy oszczędzają na premiach? Pobierz aplikację pracuj.pl i znajdź taką, gdzie co zarobione to wypłacone. Sprawdź czy nie szukasz. Hello Sandra, hello Deborah. Okay, are you there watching or you just um I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna be a bit loud. <laughs> I'm going to be a bit louder. Um dun, dun, dun. Hello friends, hi, it's Pastor James here, the way from Warsaw Poland where Jesus lives. Um really sorry I'm, I'm gonna have to um be very brief because of my voice and Shaprasham Yanya Dishanya Mugge move Poposko um Lachego Pastor James Latego Je my Poski Yzik yes um like Nelepsha Rish um Benja Trudno Lachebia Dlaczego ja tylko mów po polsku, po angielsku? Um, can, can you translate or um, uh, Joanna or uh, <laughs> Joanna or Evelina is anyone there who has a lower level of Polish to translate? My level of Polish is too high, you know, to um, for me to use it here. Praise God. Okay, listen, friends, um, whenever you get to watch this video, I just want you to know that on the 13th of next month, that is, um, oh, it's going to be on, on, um, on a Sunday. Poland is going to be 100, 100 years. Now, that's a lot. 
a lot of things people don't know about Poland. So we are going to use this um, 100 um, year celebration of Polish independence to do a lot in the church. We're going to talk a lot, say a lot of things about Poland. If you don't believe in miracle, if you don't believe in miracle, Poland is a miracle. If you live outside Poland and you don't believe in miracle, I want to encourage you to come over to Poland for you to have your faith. Uh, on the land of miracle whatever you see of israel is similitude to what you see of this nation um israel not too long ago was reinstated back into the map um just like poland most of you don't even know poland at some point in history was totally obliterated was totally taken off the map it was we will come. Thank you, Sandra and all. I know you will be here, and I will be here also. Um, we're gonna have an amazing day. Believe me. I want us to throw the biggest party. I want us to celebrate Poland. I want us to celebrate this beautiful nation that has kept all of you. That has given you a place to call your home. Okay, Poland has given you a place to call your home. I think you owe that to your nation to celebrate it. Um, you know, get together with families, give God praise. There is no other way to celebrate Poland other than to say, God, I thank you for this nation. I thank you for making me Polish. I thank you for bringing me, um, allow my great, 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 great grandparents to be Polish and, and, and helping them to, to stand through the whole trials and, and turbulence of life. Um, Poland, if, if you read, um, one of my, um, greatest friends here, um, uh, hold on, give me a second here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, if you, um, <clears throat> oh, yes. Now, Norman Davis, Norman Davis, um, I, I, I love the book. I've not actually gone through it, but, you know, I've had it for years. Um, Norman Davis talked about Poland as God's playground. Let me say this to you. <laughs> Let me say this to you. If God allows you, if God uses your home to be his playground, you better be sure that he's going to bless it. Now, I just, I'm just trying to pick this off from what Norman Davis said. I mean, he's got a couple of books. This is also one of his books. Okay, um, you are, you are international, you know, best seller. That's this a man. Okay, I've had this book for years. I've actually gone through them. So basically, from I want to I want to just quote off what Norman Davis said that Poland is God's playground. What I'm saying is this: if you allow God to use your property, if you allow God to use your life, if you allow God to use you to express His presence and His power. Believe me, God, he is going to reward you. God is not a user. God does not use people. Whatever, whatever God, whenever God actually uses you to do something, it means that he is about to bless you to set you to another platform. Um, if you go through the scriptures, you know, if you go through the Bible, you find out that God used a lot of men and women, not just in the Bible, even in our life and days. In my life as well, God has actually, I believe God has used me in so many ways. By allowing me to go through a lot of turbulence of life, but within the family and outside the family, uh, within the ethnicity and outside the ethnicity, um, within your environment and outside your environment. So when God allows your life, when God, when God uses your life to go um, to express certain things, it simply means He wants to place you on another level. So I believe that what this nation Poland went through, basically God has allowed Poland as a nation. Um, to go through quite a lot of things. He is God. He would have stopped it if he wanted to, but if he allowed it to happen, that is a better purpose, that's a better result. And I believe that the Polish nation has stepped into that result right now. I believe that this nation is, you watch what I'm saying to you, Poland, without a pledge, I'm gonna say this, Poland is going to be, if not the best, one of the greatest nation in Europe, you watch, when it comes to peace, security, and a whole lot. I mean, a nation where you move into, you have peace. A country that when you step into it, you have calm. Um, so I just want to encourage you, if you live in Warsaw, if you are anywhere around Warsaw, 
um, please come join us at Oleta 32 Polygonova Street. Oleta means street, you know. Try a lot of polish right there from me. So, um, if you are anywhere, um, if you are anywhere around uh, Warsaw, Poland, I want to encourage you to come join us. Um, oh, thank you. I've got, oh, the hell are you? I've got a wonderful little friend there. Hello. Um, I don't know if you're back in Poland. Are you still in the States? You better come back here. You better come back before the end of day. Okay, praise God. So, uh, <coughs> that's Ivona right there. Um, um, joining us. I think you're still in the States, I think. Um, but we're waiting for you to come back. Praise God. So the point I'm trying to make is that, is that God has allowed Poland to go through quite a whole lot. And the result of the patience and the things that Poland went through is about to come up. It actually started already. Okay, so if you are a Polish person, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. This is the best time to be Polish. We are coming in January. Okay, praise God. And we'll be, we are waiting for you in January. Praise God. So if you are Polish, this is the best time to be Polish. Uh, this is the best time to be proud of, of your nation. Um, why you respect other nations, of course. And but just appreciate what God has given to you. This is about time that the Poles shake off communism and the mentality of communism is no longer here. You are Polish. It's a new day. The, buff, the battle is over. Um, there are no Germans trying to invade you. There are no Russians trying to invade you. There are no Russians trying to invade you. This is your time. This is your season. Just stop fighting. There's no fighting. And then I'm going to say this. And also stop internal fight. It's not, it's not, it's not good either. Most often... What destroys people is implosion, not even explosion. Implosion simply means the things that actually happen within the nation. So I am so um, grateful to God that he has ordered my step to be in a nation like this, Poland. Amazing, blessed, peaceful. Um, and I will also say peace-loving people. And also in the church. You don't want to know. God has blessed me with wonderful people. Can I get someone to actually translate this? In Are you able to translate this? Can I tag you to translate for me? I'm gonna just shut you down straight away. If this boy's <coughs> for good, yes. Still in the States, praise God. Um so so basically what I'm saying is um um if, if you haven't actually visited Poland, you better come over. Um you better come over, believe me. When you hear about the Jews that were killed, you need to understand something. A lot of them were killed within a lot, I mean, a whole lot of them. So um, that, that will also let you know that when you hear about Jews being killed, a lot of them are Polish Jews, to be honest with you. A lot of, a lot of Poles lost their lives during the time of um, um, the German occupation of Poland. Um, so, so, so basically, we're going to have, we plan to have a hitch party in our church. I don't know if you know anything about our church. Our church is called Emma Godin Ministries, means in God's image. This actually is the best church in the whole world. I, I need to tell you about it. Talking about a church with the fastest growth rate is our church. Talking about a church, you have the most beautiful ladies in the world. It's our church. Talking about a church where you have the most beautiful voice and best fingers in the world. I'm talking about Jelena and Deborah. Talking about a church where you have the most, you don't you don't want a greater service, you know, amazing wives and mothers, and church members. Even we have Evelina in the church. Even she's a great dancer. She's planning to start dancing in the church. Um, the only church where the assistant of the pastor is actually bigger than the pastor, and it's more than the pastor. It's only this church. It doesn't have any other place. Praise God, Minister Frank. I'm trying to get you into trouble now. Praise God. And by the way, this... Okay, Kim, I'm going to try to do that again. I think my wife went to do some makeup because now she's writing to me to tag her. I tried to tag her before she didn't accept the tag because she needed, maybe she looked up corrupt and so she's gone back into the baby woman to do some... <laughs> Here she comes. I think she's going to be coming up in a, in a minute. The network is quite slow. I'm going to have to shut that some things down. The network is... Um, 
I'm so blessed. You know, you, you've got a, a church where you've got church members you can, you know, throw your jobs at and that just cool with it. You know. All right. Praise God. I think it's gonna get a bit better time because I've got aha. Uh -huh. Praise God. Hello. It's okay, come. <laughs> Minister Frank, don't believe everything you hear. They believe me. <laughs> too, okay. too late. Ran on you. They believe me. I'm the pastor. Pastors don't lie. <laughs> Pastors don't lie. Yeah, right. Praise God. Amen. Fawa Bogu, not Amen. Praise God. You say Fawa Bogu. Fawa Bogu. Amen. So this is Pastor James, all the way from Warsaw, Poland, where Jesus lives. Uh, Pastor James, całą drogę z Warszawy, gdzie Jezus żyje. And I've got my wife over there translating from Warsaw, Poland, where Jesus also lives. Tak jest. I żona i pastorowa Jamesowa z Warszawy, gdzie Jezus żyje. And I've got Judah there also helping the mom to translate. Yes. Translate. I Dudek uh, asystent. Praise God. So what I'm saying is Poland is 100 years. Wow. Polska obchodzi stulecie. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Frank. I don't know what you mean by that, too. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, can, yeah, um, um, this brother, sister, Ivona, is the one she in love from States. And she's when she's coming over to Poland for good. She's coming over to Poland for good. Oh, great. Wow. You need to translate that. Uh, uh, Ivona, uh, Ivona, yeah. Ivona ze Stanów, uh, siostra Krzysztofa, uh, wraca do Polski, posłuchajcie, w, w styczniu. Będzie już tutaj razem z nami. Amen. For good. For good. Na, na zawsze. Na, na, wow, na zostaje. <laughs> she's, coming in, she's coming in na zawsze. I'm telling zawsze, you. Tak, tak. Let's go. So basically, we're going to have a party on the 11th of November. E, tak, planujemy celebrację niepodległości Polski 11 w niedzielę. Get your dancing shoes. Tak, przygotujcie swoje buty, dobre do tańca, wygodne. Hat or cap, whatever. <laughs> Czapki, nakrycia głowy, wszystko. It's going to be a lot of food. Będzie jedzonko, miam, miam. A lot, of, a lot of dancing, a lot of present, praises. Będzie uwielbienie, będzie wychwalanie. And what is more important, that's going to be. Ale co jest ważniejsze, będzie. A lot of declaration. Będzie wiele, wiele deklaracji. Of God's word of everyone that's going to be in the church that day. Będzie deklaracja, będzie... <coughs> Urokowanie, będzie słowo. Myślę, Now, że dla każdego If you're a member of the church, na <coughs> if you're a member of Day or if you're Polish, I want to encourage you to join us on a fast from tomorrow. Jeżeli ktoś e, chce dołączyć się, <coughs> szczególnie ci, którzy są w naszej społeczności, to zapraszamy do tego, żeby włączyć się w post, który zaczynamy od jutra. Um, you, you can go on. Um, on a liquid fast. Basically, you can just take only fluid, water, you know, juice and stuff, yeah? To może być post, e, taki, który bazuje, bez pokarmów stałych tak naprawdę, czyli taki, który bazuje tylko na, na płynach, na, na jakichś sokach. Okay, so it's going to start tomorrow. Zaczyna się ten post jutro. Talk to God, give Praise God for Poland. Praise God for your family. I w czasie tego postu będziemy dziękować za Polskę, za nasze rodziny. Będziemy okay. dziękować za, za ten kraj, za, za to wszystko, co mamy. Dorota is there now 
and she's got this huge miracle you don't want to know. Dorota oh. said to me that she's shocked at what God is doing with her. Translate Dorota, that. Dorota ma wielkie świadectwo, um, które potwierdza to, co Bóg robi, niesamowite rzeczy, wielkie rzeczy w jej życiu. Dorota, is it not amazing that within a short time after your baptism, every single word the Lord spoke over your life is coming to pass? Things are happening. Już nie jest to wspaniałe, Doroto, że po chrzcie te wszystkie rzeczy, które Bóg powiedział, że zadzieją się, staną się w Twoim życiu, że one tak, w tak krótkim czasie już się dzieją. And I, I want to say this to you, Dorota. You have not said anything yet. This is just nothing. Uh, once again. That whatever is happening now is nothing compared to what is going to happen in her life. To, co dzieje się teraz w twoim życiu, to jest tak jest niewiele w porównaniu z tym, co się dopiero wydarzy. Praise God. Pamy Pana. Pana. See this key. See this key. Emmanuel, could you take your brother take him somewhere? I can't hear. I have distraction of Judah. Okay, I'm going to get you off and I'm going to bring you back. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Now you see what I'm going through. But it's not it's it's not her fault, it's nobody's fault. I should have done this way back. So when you are close to 50 and your second son is, is two years, uh <laughs> that's a challenge right there. So basically what I'm saying is about our sister Dorota is that God has basically done a lot of things in her life after her baptism she's she i mean she's 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 bumped into miracles after miracles miracles after miracles and these things that are not just um they're not coincidence they're ordained um it's not it's not it's not by chance and and therefore so i want all of you that are part of this church to just to to take this fast we are getting into from tomorrow to take it serious we listen to this listen to me very well poland Frank, Minister Frank, man yourself there. Um, Pastor Kevin, if you are there, show me some love, please. Um, God bless you, sir. Um, so, 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 if you are Polish, and if you're watching this, and actually if you're Christian, basically, what I want you to do is to join us in faith. If you can fast, join us in fasting as well and praying. We are believing God. No, I mean, we are believing God, not that we are, are trying, trying to orchestrate things to happen, but we are believing God for what he has ordained for Poland to begin to come into manifestation. I believe that Poland has been... I believe that God has set the nation of Poland. You watch what I'm saying. You watch what I'm saying to you. Just sit back and watch what I'm saying to you. This nation with this flag, you watch. It's a wonder it's going to be, it's going to be a shock, it's going to be a tsunami of miracles, a tsunami of surprises, a tsunami of, 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 of things, one after another, miracles, good things happening to this nation. Um, in Cam when you are ready, please let me get you back online to do the translation for us. It's important because of what I'm going to say. Now, if I'm, I'm trying to draw some sort of um, 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 similarity between Poland and Israel as a nation, Poland, of you all know, at some point was totally obliterated, was off the map. And so was Poland. And something about Poland is this, Poland was off the map for 123 years. It was off the map. So which means for Poland, for that to be a nation today called Poland, that's a miracle. That is a miracle. And if you know the story about the blind man who was close to the pool when the water when the water stirs that then um, whoever jumps into the water receives a miracle which means the whole environment has an atmosphere of miracle in it but this man didn't know about it so he was waiting for somebody to take him right into the river but what i'm saying is this that not until he, he realized that i mean he could have received his miracle where he was if you are in poland if you are a Polish citizen, or you know the nation called Poland, you know a miracle. If you are living in Poland, you are living in a miracle. If you are a Polish citizen, you are a miracle. Why? Because your nation actually should not even be in existence to start with. But the grace of God has kept this nation. The power of the Almighty God has kept and sustained this nation. Therefore, I want to encourage you, all my Polish audience and all the um, all the friends that I've got both in the UK and also here in, in England, in Poland, 
to join us in faith for the move that's about to take place. I'm going to try to get a translator here. Um, let me go through my fence. See somebody who can praise God. Let me see if Kim is ready to get back on translation. Hallelujah. So, so you don't want to miss, you don't want to miss the program that is coming up. Okay. And while you're there, I want to play this little song for you. It's the Polish National um, Anthem. Please listen to this. Okay. Then when, when, uh, when my translator comes back up, then I'm going to, I'm going to have to, uh, then I'm going to bring her back. But for now, I want you to just, um, a little break today. I'm fighting for truth and faith. Sandra, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You you don't actually fight for truth. You say the truth and you walk. Truth will always defend itself. Believe me. Truth will always defend itself. Any effort you make trying to fight for truth, you are going to create unnecessary enmity for yourself. Let me say that again. Now listen to this first.
Can can I get that? Are you ready? Yeah. Hush, hush, the broski, just the broski, the broski. Just for them, just for them, just for them, them. Praise God. Are you okay? Yeah. Is everything sorted now? I hope so. Those boys. They are hungry. All right, friends. All right, friends. This is Pastor James. This is Jonah James. All the way from Warsaw, Poland, where Jesus lives. Pastor James is Jonah James. Warsaw, where Jesus lives. Amen. Amen. So basically, I'm going to cut you short so we can get down to... um. Um, to get start doing some making some preparations concerning the wonderful party that is coming up on the 11th of November next month. 11 listopada uh, będziemy celebrować niepodległość Polski i błogosławić ten kraj. It's going to be amazing. Będzie naprawdę niesamowite. <coughs> What I was saying before now is this, is that Poland is a miracle. To, co mówiłem wcześniej, to to, że Polska jest cudem. A certain man in the scriptures was waiting for water to move for him to jump into it and receive miracle. Pewien człowiek w Biblii e, czekał, aż woda się poruszy po to, żeby on mógł wejść w tę wodę i przyjąć, otrzymać cud. But what he didn't know was the whole environment was saturated with miracle, waiting for somebody who we connect in faith to receive that miracle. Ale nie wiedział, że tak naprawdę cała okolica, wszyscy, ta, wszystko tam wypełnione było cudami. Tak naprawdę czekało tylko na, manif- na, na osobę, aby móc się w tej osobie zamanifestować. The nation Poland was off the map for 123 years. Polska zniknęła z map y, przez 123 lata. Jej nie było. Um, which means for this nation to be in existence today must be a miracle. A to znaczy, że jeżeli ten kraj na nowo powrócił i istnieje, to to jest cud. For you to live in a country called Poland is a miracle. <coughs> Dla ciebie żyjącego w tym kraju Polsce, to jest cud. For you to hear of a country called Poland is a miracle. Dla ciebie, żeby usłyszeć o, o kraju naz- o nazwie Polska, to jest cud. And for you to be Polish is an ultimate miracle. Dla ciebie być Polakiem czy Polką to jest cud. So this nation best literally is a land of miracle. Zatem ten kraj, ten naród jest ziemią cudów. So it doesn't matter which part of the Poland where you live. I niezależnie od tego, w jakiej części Polski mieszkasz. This land, the whole of this land is a land of miracle. To cała ta ziemia, polska ziemia jest ziemią cudów. And God is raising up some Christians who are going to pray out these miracles and it's going to reach to every single person in this land. I Bóg wzbudza, powołuje ludzi, którzy wymodlą cuda, wymodlą błogosławieństwa, które wyjdą z tej ziemi. We've got lots of pastors in this nation. Jest wielu pastorów w tym narodzie. 
from Szczecin to Poznan to Lublin to Warsaw to Katowice to Poznan, Lublin, Katowice, Kraków, Hajnówka, Jakubowice, Lublin, everywhere. Wszędzie. We've got a lot of people praying for this nation. Wszędzie są ludzie, którzy modlą się właśnie za Polskę. Ludzi, którzy, o których istnieniu nawet nie wiesz. Ktoś kiedyś przyszedł do kościoła i powiedział, wow, nie wiedziałem, że jest ktoś taki jak ty, kto modli się o Polskę. Powiedziałem, jest nas więcej, o wiele więcej. Ja jestem Bo może wyjąt... ja jestem wyjątkowy, ale jest nas o wiele, wiele więcej. Wyjątkowa. Praise God. So tak. basically, get excited. Poland is going to be 100 years in less than 11, in 11 days. Więc bądź nabierz ekscytacji, bo za 11 dni Polska będzie obchodzić 100 lat. I'm about Sandra. Sandra, when you preach the truth, you live it alone. Sandro, a do ciebie, jeżeli ty głosisz prawdę, to zostaw ją. Ona sama się obroni. Truth will always defend itself. Zawsze się obroni. So don't worry about people fighting you over truth. Nie, truth will defend itself. Nie zajmuj się tymi, którzy walczą z tobą tylko dlatego, że mówisz prawdę. Jesus said that he is the truth. Jezus powiedział, że jest prawdą. So when you speak the truth, what you do, you introduce Jesus. That's what you do by speaking Jeśli the truth. Mówisz o prawdzie, mówisz prawdę, to tak naprawdę przedstawiasz samego Jezusa. And Jesus did not need anyone to help him go for the cross or to save humanity. Jezus, po to, aby ocalić ludzkość, aby zbawić ludzkość, nie potrzebował nikogo do pomocy, kiedy szedł przez krzyż. So Jesus did not, did not, I mean, did not need um, the help, assistance of anybody to help him go through the cross. Nie potrzebował żadnego asystenta, nikogo, kto pomagałby mu e, przejść przez ten, przez ten krzyż, przez całą drogę krzyżową. Praise God. Pan so once you said the truth, just leave it alone, Sandra. Jeśli ty, Sandro, mówisz prawdę, no to wystarczy, zostaw resztę. So I'm just going to pray for Poland now. Teraz chciałbym pomodlić się za Polskę. And it's my, it's my sincere desire that a lot of you are going to get ready for what is coming up. Szczerze pragnę, abyście byli przygotowani, abyście byli gotowi na to, co, co będzie nadchodzić, to, co przygotowujemy. Praise God. Palmy Bama. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Let's just pray for Poland and Kim, okay? I know you're tired. Just briefly, we're going to pray and just cut it off, okay? We can start praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Mary God, for this nation. We thank you for this beautiful nation, Mary God. We thank you for, for keeping this nation. I wouldn't have been here if there isn't a place in Poland. Your grace has kept this nation. Twoja łaska utrzymuje ten naród. Your love has protected this nation. Ten naród. The nation was meant to be destroyed. Ten naród, ten naród był But your love kept it alive. Ale twoja go przy życiu. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate Polish 100 years of independence, Dlatego, Panie, celebrując to stulecie niepodległości Polski, We give you praise for it. Oddajemy Tobie, Panie, chwałę za to. We bow our knees and our, 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 our knees and our challenges to you, God. Dziękujemy, Panie, przed Tobą, dziękując Ci również za wszystkie wyzwania, które, z którymi i my się zmagamy. And we believe that this nation is going into the highest, the level, highest level of, of, um, of growth. Wierzymy It Pani, że ten naród, jak również i my, że my idziemy do kolejnego poziomu i wzrostu. In the name of Jesus. W imieniu Jezusa. For we pray for peace to take over this land 
Modlimy się o pokój w tym, w tym narodzie, w tym kraju. In the name of Jesus. Modlimy się o miłość w imieniu Jezusa. Thank you for Jeremy's preaching growth. Dziękujemy Ci, Panie, za ten wspaniały wzrost. We thank you, Mary God, for even economic growth in this nation. Dziękujemy Ci za ten wzrost, który nadchodzi w tym narodzie. In the name of Jesus. W imieniu Jezusa. Amen. 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 Okay, Robin, thank you so much for the translation. Amen. I owe you, I owe you, I got, I'm going to give you one of these. I have two here. I wanted to eat both for them, but I'm going to give you one for being a good translator. Amen. And also some peanut. I'll be seeing you soon. Bless you again. Amen. Bless you. Okay, God bless you.